special classes for IGCSE and A-level students. Let's start our experiment now. Hello, we're from Chem Praxis. In this video, we're going to look at how to carry out a serial dilution. There's two types of serial dilution. The first one is where we reduce the concentration by half, and the second one is where we reduce the concentration by the factor of 10. First of all, we'll look at the serial dilution that reduces the concentration by half. For serial dilutions that reduces the concentration by half, we'll be looking at the paper October November 2016, paper 3 variant 1. In this experiment, we're required to make a serial dilution of 1% reducing sugar solution, which reduces the concentration by half. Decide how many different concentrations you prepare for a serial dilution. In biology, we usually prepare around 5 different concentrations, including the initial one given. You'll need to prepare 10 cm cube of each concentration. Figure 1.1 shows the first two beakers you'll use to make your serial dilution. Because we're reducing our concentration by half, our next beaker will have 0.5% reducing sugar solution. For these kind of serial dilutions, we can add in the same amount of reducing sugar solution from the previous beaker and also the same volume of distilled water. You can repeat this for the next three beakers until you obtain five different concentrations. Take note that the last beaker will have 20 cm cube of reducing sugar solution because we're not transferring the solution to any other beakers. First, I'll add 20 cm cube of reducing sugar solution to the first beaker. Before transferring the solutions, I'll add 10 cm cube of distilled water into each beaker. Now, I'll transfer 10 cm cube of the solution from the first beaker to the second beaker. Repeat the process for all three beakers. After transferring the solutions, we'll have five different concentrations of reducing sugar solutions. You can also watch our video about reducing sugar tests to see how different concentrations of glucose can give different results. For zero dilutions that reduces the concentration by a factor of 10, we'll look at the example in May June 2019, paper 3, variant 3. You need to make a zero dilution of 100% milk M. The concentration of the milk should decrease by a factor of 10 between each successive dilution. Figure 1.1 shows the first two beakers you use to make a zero dilution. Because we're reducing the concentration by a factor of 10, the second beaker will have concentration of 10%. For these kind of serial dilutions, we'll transfer 1 cm cube from the previous speaker and we'll add in 9 cm cube of distilled water. We'll repeat this for the 3 next speakers until we obtain 5 different concentrations. First, I'll add 10 cm cube of 100% milk solution to the first speaker. Before transferring the solutions, I'll add 9 cm cube of water to all four beakers. Now I'll start transferring 1 cm cube of the solution to the next beaker. Repeat the process for the next three beakers. Now we're done with our serial dilution and we have five different concentrations of milk solution. 